This is the homework help video for worksheet H8-4, problem 8-75. It states, is the quantity of x minus 5 squared equivalent to 5 minus x squared? Explain why or why not. All right, so let's figure out, are these two things equivalent? There's a couple things we can look at. First of all, if I take my x minus 5, right, that quantity is being squared, so I'm going to just turn it into x minus 5 times x minus 5. Now, when I take it and I FOIL it out, I see I get x squared minus 10x plus 25. It's kind of hard to see it when it's written as a polynomial. We don't really know like what the overall value is, but we can see the terms in the expression. If I take 5 minus x and I do the same thing, 5 minus x times 5 minus x, right? 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times negative x is negative 5x. And then I have a second one, so that gives me a negative 10x. And then negative x times a negative x gives me a positive x squared. So would you consider these two things to be the same, right? If I took my 25 and my positive x squared, right? And I flip flop them. I have x squared minus 10x plus 25, which is the exact same thing that we have over here. So I guess we could say that they are equivalent to each other. But another way we can look at it is let's just say x was the number, let's say 2, right? Let's let x equal 2 and let's substitute that in and see what values we get. 2 minus 5 squared, and then we'd also have a 5 minus 2 squared. So when I do 2 minus 5, I get a negative 3, and I know that when I do negative 3 times itself, I get positive 9. When I do 5 minus 2, I get 3, and then 3 squared is also 9. So they get the same value, so we would consider them to be equivalent. Right? So they're kind of like opposites before you square them. But if you square opposites, you will always get that same positive answer out. So hopefully that helps you with some of this. You can put your explanation into your own words. I look forward to reading them.